Ah, ah, like stretchy ah, arms and ah, ah, chat. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah, 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 it's one piece. Ah, 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 <laughs> you know, what happens if I? Ah, 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 you, 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 you get it? You yeah. No, but what happens if I hit it? That's what I just said. Oh, oh yeah! I, I it. Take it out. Grab it. Grab it. It's, it's stuck. It's not stuck. Just don't, like it's a sharp blade. Oh, 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 oh. You might have noticed that there's a, a new TV series that's getting a uh, decent. It's gross! Can you, can you get that in here? I, that's my third sword, thank you. Anyway, there's a new TV series, you said, chap? Yes. It's What's called, it called? It's called One Piece. It's not One new, Piece. it's been out for a while. Well, the live action adaptation. Oh. And it's actually pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay. And uh, it's right raised another interesting question about certain sword styles in that show. Character, oh. Zoro, mm -hmm. he has a three sword style where yep. he has the third sword in his teeth. Yeah. In his mouth. That sounds just like a bad idea. Stupid. In general. Okay. <laughs> well, we're gonna figure that out. We're gonna uh, figure that out. What are we figuring out? How much our Dennis bills are gonna be? Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I'm... I'm okay, okay. 99% so, of the time I'm happy being like the, mm. the uh, person that gets hit, but something like that, I feel like it's I think much. we can pretty much say it's, this is ridiculous, off the bat. Stupid, yeah. yes. All right. Done. Um, we're gonna try and find if there is any validity at all, working, trying to pretend some other issues can't exist. We should acknowledge what the big issues are, okay? Because, look, you can hold a sword in your teeth. Like so. You yes, can. You all can. Right. All right. Yeah, but would you feel comfortable if I like... No. Right. See, uh, there's a couple of things that I'm not sure if anybody have, has tried this. I've actually tried this, so I can talk from first experience. Okay. All right. When you have the sword in your teeth, all right, even little movements like, like this, right? Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. oh. This is an aluminium sword. Yep. Very, very light. Aluminium, oh, yes. Aluminium. Aluminium, yes. Aluminium. Continuing, yes, yes. Even with it being so light, that motion I did then put uncomfortable mm. torque on my teeth. Like, like, just the motion of it wanting to pull out yep. and pull in from that. And like, all right, that alone was uncomfortable. Taking like a solid hit? Oh, oh no. That's just a surefire way to lose teeth. And, and what exactly, like, if the sword is here, what exactly are you blocking? Like, well, attacks from this shoulder? You could just do that by holding the sword like that. The thing is, all right, the idea is that, okay, imagine if you got one sword and you attack and you do the other sword the attack, could you get a use out of having a third sword? No. Uh, if, if say, it could be held there securely. No. Could, could there be any use case no. scenario which might be beneficial? No. So, so niche. <laughs> I, I personally think that if someone is going to get close enough that you have the neck dexterity to attack someone with a sword like that, you may as well headbutt them. Okay, okay. A headbutt would be let, let, better. Let's, let's go through some mock kind of scenarios <sighs> and see if I could land a hit with this. So I think we need to move to some LARP. Okay? Sure. Okay. And uh, we, can, we can practice. All right, so we're taking a couple of liberties as the anime does, just pretending, imagine if I had like impervious teeth, all right? And, uh, and I could just do this. Because I don't have impervious teeth, I'm we're, gonna, not, I'm we're, gonna not, not we're not actually gonna be sword. striking, but we're gonna just experiment about positions after some swords get in the bind. If there's anything I can do with this in my mouth. Sure, sure. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Huh. This is a bad idea. Huh. 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 Well, okay. Yeah, okay. 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 <laughs> all right. All right. So hang on. Let's let's try let's try and back this out. Ready? This <laughs> is so dumb. <laughs> You, oddly enough, you might not have been able to predict this. You, do, you need to obviously uh, try it out in real life to discover it from first-hand experience that you do have a more limited range of motion with a sword in your teeth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. You basically have uh -huh. one chop. Uh -huh. I will happily go shorter and shorter blades. I'll go two blades. I'll even grab a shield if you want. Shield? That might be interesting because one of the uh, like odd things that I noticed, right? When you do wielding swords, you already have a lot of options to circumvent the opponent's weapon. And so let's uh, assume. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I don't think I hear, right? I could I have a lot of options. Can you understand what I'm saying? He has a lot of options. Uh -huh. He could go uh -huh. there or there. Uh -huh. And say, what do I need this for? Is it just a backup? It's not a backup. Can you understand what I'm saying? Is that a <laughs> but it's, okay, so so yes, but that's like that's very much against uh, a compliant opponent. Mm -hmm. Now we're not going to do non-compliant opponents here because it's just too dangerous. Yeah, yeah. If I had three blades and I had mm. one blade come at me like that, mm. I would probably very quickly try to just retract and I don't know do something. Right. It's still a blur of blades. So at uh, the moment, I'm not seeing much use of the third blade because I already have two, but you only have one weapon. So let's give you two things, okay. at least. A shield, two weapons Let's or something. go two weapons. Let's two go two weapons. weapons. Because I feel like a shield is going to be very obvious. I just put it in front of me and block everything. Mm. <sighs> uh, so come in here and uh, just hold that for me. <laughs> <laughs> we found a way to make it work! <laughs> we found a way to make it work! <laughs> <laughs> That's totally going in. We're yeah. not cutting. You <laughs> have a mood. So Nathan is making fun of me today. Not today. Yeah, yeah he's right. <laughs> well, that was interesting. I don't need that. Oh, something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hang on. I don't drink alcohol. I drink lots of other beverages which I could come to a bar and procure. You're touchy about this, okay? I am very touchy about this because I want to use bars too. Bars are fun. Bartender. What do you have on tap? Alcohol. No, I don't want alcohol. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> the Gamberson is... <laughs> If you like today's video, and I genuinely hope you are, did you know that you can actually help support the channel and the content that we make here? We have YouTube memberships, Patreon, Subscribestar, Player, they are all available. Over the last couple of months, we've been building a backlog of behind the scenes content. Things like Q&As, uh, extra thoughts on videos that we don't want to put on the main channel because they wouldn't really make a full video. All of this stuff is available, so if you like Shadowversity and you want to see more of it, well, if you sign up to any one of those platforms, you'll get access to all of this old content and the new content we make. I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching and thank you to all our supporters who are already signed up. Let's get back to the video. Ah, so what do you think about this technique, Tyrant? Uh, seems stupid. Yes. That it is. Yes. Thank you. Uh, let me know when we hit things. When uh, we're hitting things, not your mouth. Okay. Awesome. You, can, you can hit his mouth with your sword. Have fun. That sounds weird. So now we might find a situation in which this sword could become actually useful. Okay. okay. Do you need me to give you an advantage? Oh, I see. So I go here, 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 and I get a light locked up. So I locked up like, all right, Don't knock it, man. Sorry. Like okay. <laughs> Wow, well, the, the slightest knock. That was like a very gentle, gentle little... tap sends such a vibration into my teeth. You know, you know what? You know what? I think that we need to do some proper testing with this. Yeah. If I sort of very quickly just went, oh, I'll try to get that around the other side of the blade, yeah. just nice and gently, that shows how weak a jaw is for holding mm. holding a sword. I think we need to scale this up. We yeah. need to see how much damage it would actually do to teeth. That's a good idea. I present to you the Bite Master 5000. <laughs> Huh? So don't, yeah, don't hit it because I actually want to see what. <laughs> oh, sorry, did I scare you man? <laughs> no, it was a bit just strange being assaulted in my ear like that. <sighs> We've got teeth. Animals. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I kind of want to see what happens now. This is the best analogy. We went hunting pretty well for some nice teeth. And as you can see, obviously it's got the mechanism on the inside. Those are properly shaped teeth. They are properly shaped. So they are, if they snap when 
they snap. They will snap free of the guns. I'm going to stop holding onto that like that now. They are the best we could find in our very limited time. I'm going to hold onto this mm -hmm. to basically be the equivalent of a neck. Right. So you watch when this gets hit, how much is going to talk off? I'm going to use this sword here. Now we're not going to real. He's he's got a steel glove on, but for the most Just part, the swords aren't really anything we're worried about. It's going to be right here on this plastic. That's uh, yeah the teeth. We'll the see what teeth. happens. I don't think the teeth are going to go so well, but it'll. You never know. Oh yeah. Oh, you never okay. know. All right. Let's try this out. We're going to try and be a bit careful here. I'm going to go about 50 percent. 50 percent. Ready? You ready, Nate? Yep. No. Be go. Go. Oh, no, like literally the teeth, that is just no. literally all the teeth there just caved in. A little bit. I mean, I know it's not a perfect analog it, plastic, it but it's not. But it's it not. does, like, honestly, that is the type of damage you would eventually yes. get. Yeah, even I in mean, just first solid strike. A little, little bit of dental work, yeah. like, you know what? Oh, <laughs> buddy. It is an important point to address. It's not a perfect analog, but at the same time, teeth are not, like, they're not made for this, so. Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> So we, look, we kind of knew that that's the result. Like yeah. this is an impossible. No, that's, that's not the result. I got more of these. We're doing that again. I like I like hitting things. Sure. We, we do. We do. The thing is, though, we know that teeth won't be able to hold it. But if we could say, pretend you could, is there any viability to it? That's what people want to know. So I'll be going through uh, the results just from the brief kind of uh, exchanges that we did before, right? And I was wondering, okay, well, like if you can still maneuver the swords with this in your mouth, it wouldn't be getting in the way of combat and you could fight just as effectively with it there, which means you have an optional third backup if there ever was an opening that you wanted to take advantage of. I can think of one instance where this works. It doesn't work in reality, mm -hmm. but in a fantasy setting it might work. And the reason being is because obviously fantasy characters mm. have stronger jaws and stronger mm. neck muscles and everything. I've seen the meme of online of the couple with the dog. Then the dog has and a lot of sword. Going crazy. And the dog's going crazy. And it looks like they're actually doing little sweeping shots mm -hmm. of the leg. So if you had the neck strength to be able to hold it and make sure you pull back mm -hmm. so you're not getting hit. Well, here is where we come to the biggest problem that I saw with holding it in your teeth like this. Mm. Whenever I actually tried to strike with it, it required me turning my head and oh, and actually taking my eyes off my opponent and I realized when I was actually trying to hit you like this oh, I can't I can't actually see you yeah not properly uh, not properly and that was a greater problem for me than just trying to fight with it in my mouth like this I can, I can fight like this but as soon as I want to strike I'm now not looking at you. And for those who didn't catch that, I can felt like this, but as soon as I need to strike, just in case you didn't catch it. Yeah. Also, you know, yelling communication across the battlefield yeah. might be a thing. So it seems like if you really wanted to hold a sword in your mouth, the better place to hold it would be... Oh, like... That oh, totally oh. doesn't look bad. Oh. It's almost oh. like a chainsaw, <laughs> man. Oh, God. <laughs> if you're going to do that... We have nightmares now. <laughs> if you're going to do that, you probably don't need it in your mouth. You could, uh, like, you could just uh, have like, or, or you could put it on your waist, Nate, like, like this, and you can try and fight someone like that. Hang on, hang on, let's, let's see if we can try this. Oh, wow. Like this. Yeah, no, 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 stay there. My sword that's, a, there. that's close <laughs> enough. But I, I think you would get more control in your mouth. Oh. Mm. And my, my, my face is still on my opponent. Yeah, it is. But I feel like you really have to be like Chainsaw Man, like on my sword face to do anything. Yeah, like maybe like a unicorn or like right there. Huh? Tyrus, are you done with the second vice yet? You ready, Nick? Yep. Three, two, one. I, f I feel like we've been very scientific today. You know? we, we have. How? Hard are we? Look, look at oh. how much you need to the teeth need Bite to down to that. You, that. <laughs> you need to devour that sword. <laughs> that sounded weird. <laughs> well, we already knew that that was going. To yeah, happen. and we're getting consistent breaks on the same point. Yeah, mm. we really well, are. Like, well, if the strike on the outside, that means most of the pressure is going to be. Yeah. So now. now keep in mind that we are using actual, oh, no, these are the upper teeth. actual vice grips to hold on to these teeth. Yeah. Meaning, uh, mouths aren't meant to, you know, bite down we, with we, that. We know that, but. Now we'll return to the practical kind of application of if you had invincible teeth, all right? Now, one thing that we haven't really, uh, I guess, discovered too much is, uh, yes, the impact on the teeth, were, I could feel that, right? 
but I haven't felt too much of an issue on my neck. I reckon if you got like a, you know, worked out the neck muscles a bit, you could, and if you, again, invincible teeth. <laughs> Do you just like putting the swords in your mouth, I think Chad? he does. Um, I don't. Sure. How about then, what we'll uh. do, we'll do this very scientifically. We'll get a lap sword. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get a hemo mask, uh -huh. and we'll just tape, or do you want me to just tape it like that? Yeah, let's do that. Rolling. What? Jeez. Cut, here. What did he say? He said rolling, oh, we're oh, going. Oh, okay. We're going. Oh, oh this, so. is, this is, uh, yeah. this is dangerous. A little bit. Ha! I feel Wah! like... Ha! 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 Alright, I'm ready! Okay. Ah. So, first off, <laughs> you're yeah, I, I, going I, around. In terms of, you know, um, oh, oh, let's see, we can, we can do that one. Okay. Um, ha ha! Yeah, alright. Alright. Can, can we do... Ah. <laughs> okay. ah. so, alright, so the question is, is that effective at all compared to two swords normally? Let's see. So the idea is you've got to not use those two swords so much. Well, no, no, no. The idea is to use these as much as possible. And when there's an opening to use that, okay. I have it in reserve to take advantage. And so if I start attacking you, I'm like just go like bang, 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 bang. I mean, you. <laughs> Did I get you? Did I get you? I mean, kind of. <laughs> kind of. It did wrap around the shield, and I did feel it like maybe cut open the, my front a little bit. <laughs> I feel like. Success! Well, kind of. I feel like. So turn it, turn face this way. I feel like if you had have been able to see what you were doing, you would have known to thrust it about oh, that point. Oh, yeah. But because you couldn't see. It, it, is, did. it is hard to aim. <laughs> I'm kind of just like predicting where I'm like. So, look, the shielded. It's a little, like the shield will block even anything, so, because if I, let me try. Alright, that got, that got over. Oh, okay, this is interesting. Though it was almost like somebody getting a sword, hang for these down. It was almost like somebody getting a sword pushing it against you. Yeah, It was yeah. like cut. Oh. You, you, you didn't block with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Did I get ya? No, not that time. Okay. Well, kind of like the sword slapped mm -hmm. me, okay. but I wouldn't call that, call that getting. Ah, 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 I got him! I got him! He did! Yeah. He can't have children anymore, but he got me. Ah. <laughs> That's on there. Clearly, we proved this 100% effective. Anime works in real life, obviously. Hold that thought. And if anyone says otherwise, they're just coping. You've seen it here first. All right, I'm converted, 100% effective. I was wrong. Uh, yeah, brilliant. Because I mean, what's better than one sword, Nate? Two sword, swords. Two swords. swords. No, two swords. Sword and, shield. and then, obviously, what's better than two swords? Three swords. And you don't have to hold it in your teeth. You can you can tape it to yourself, and then you have a third backup just in case. You don't need to use it constantly, but it's there just in case. You know, I think in One Piece they have guns. Swords are better. Swords are cooler. No, 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 no. no. Swords, swords are better than guns. So, 100%. All right, let's give it a fuck all right, shot. All right, all right, all right. No, 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 wait, wait. Zombie apocalypse? Sword or guns? Sword. 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 Thank you. Okay. But everyone has always talked about the fact, oh, did it smash your teeth? Did it smash your teeth? At Chatterversity, we test these things, and uh, yeah, it smashed your teeth. Like, you can see lower teeth on that side, upper teeth on that side, smashed. Just get stronger teeth. Um, Just right. get stronger teeth. Right. No, but, no, but genuinely, let's give it a functionality score. I give it a negative five. Mm -hmm. Can we go negatives? Yes, we can. Mm -hmm. I just decided this. I, I what would give, you give it, Nate? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Negative seven. I give it a ten. Well, negative. proven. You saw it here. My my score is based on science. Negative seven. Yes. Mine was very scientific. I had. Uh, well, sorry. Out of the only one that tried it practically in real life, out of all of us, I think I'm the one who has, right. just saying, the most uh, hands-on experience to rate this accurately and honestly. 10 out of 10, right. done. As soon as he puts it in his mouth. Don't actually hit it though. Yeah. Don't actually hit yeah, it though. So we, we, we do say don't try any of this at home. Um, and please, do not try this one at home because yeah. you will end up yeah, with a large, large stupid. dentist's bill. It was a LARP sword, you're fine. Yeah. So here at Chatterversity, we do like 
doing dumb things, and this isn't the dumbest thing we've done. No, 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 Not no. Do you know life. what the dumbest thing you've done? What? Hammer nunchucks. Unequivocally, the <laughs> stupidest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. Actually, that was pretty dumb. Dumb. So, thing, even. so stupid. I, I'm sick, and I can't look at you. I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> It was actually pretty fun. It I was. liked it. The it video's was. there. You can watch it. It was. They actually kind of work. Chad, Chad went to Europe and we kind of did some...